Last week, I showed you the things I'd learned about how President Trump communicates. Well, I've been watching him very closely and can take you back into the heart of the White House to show you more. So, here we go. Uh, <laughs> so, this week, uh, the things I've noticed uh, about the way Donald Trump speaks is uh, he'll have two sentences uh, where his voice will go up in one sentence and then down in the next. A new chapter is beginning. Pride is sweeping our nation. <laughs> so, I'm just reading out the classified football results. <laughs> Bolton Wanderers, three. <laughs> Fleetwood Town, nil. <laughs> Great result for me, by the way. I had them on an accumulator, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, Bolton are very good at defence. They know how to build a wall, so... <laughs> There's that clench mouth thing he does as well. At the end of sentences, it's very odd. We're gonna invest in jibs. And that's how he says it, by the way. Jibs. <laughs> invest in jibs. But at the end of my sentences, I'm just gonna clench my mouth. <laughs> I mean, he's 70, it probably is constipation. <laughs> We're gonna invest in jibs. Allow people to dream again. Oh, my God, I thought it was coming out right then. I... <laughs> Sorry, someone's going to have to get me grape juice. <laughs> he immediately, as well, this is one of my favourite things he does, will immediately contradict himself. They say Donald Trump ran some raves. I don't ran him rave. I'm just saying you're despicable people. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> and, no, I'm perfectly reasonable. I just wish you were dead. <laughs> one of my favourite things that he does is he mimics the people that he's arguing with. Instead of saying things like, look, I know, by the way, I know this. There's a range of opinion right now in our beautiful country. I just don't agree with it all. He won't say that. I got people attacking me, saying, oh, my God, they want to close the borders. This guy's an asshole. It's not nasty. It's not very nice. I say, deal with it. We're doing it. Shut up. <laughs> Can you imagine any of the great communicators doing that in a speech? Imagine Tony Blair doing it. <laughs> well, I remember a situation we had a number of years ago where we were trying to reform crime policy. I had a woman come up to me in Nottingham and say, Why are you trying to send my Jaden to prison for? Why? And that's what I learned about him this week, by the way. I, I gotta go. Uh, I think it's coming out now. That grape juice is really coming through. So I gotta go. Thank you very much. Goodbye.